Hi everyone, my name is Holly Jo and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this wig that I have right here. Um, so if you are interested in where it came from, what it is, and what it's for and all that great stuff, then just keep watching. This wig right here is from Arda Wigs um, and this is the Luthien, can't ever say that word, I'll just leave like a little thing right in here. And this wig is 35 inches long when straightened. Right now it's obviously curly. It comes curly and it comes curly, you guys. But it can be straightened as you can see by this little piece right here that I did already straighten. I bought this wig so that I can do an Asuna cosplay with an accurate hair color. My old Asuna wig was the classic wavy in Milk Tea by Gothic Lolita Wigs, and I do love that wig very, very much, but it was getting really old and ratty because I wore it so often, and then also because I've worn it out for cosplays. So <clears throat> I needed to get a new wig, but I really wanted to go with a wig that was more to her hair color, to what Asuna's actual hair color was, and Gothic Lolita Wigs did not have a wig in that length, style, whatever, that was in this color. So, I heard some really great things about Arda Wigs from other cosplayers here on YouTube. I will leave a list somewhere in this video to tell you who else I follow for cosplay. Um, and you guys can check them out too. And, um, yeah, they spoke so highly of Arda Wigs that I was just like, um, yes, I need to get on this because my cosplay game needs to be stronger. This wig right here cost me $40.00. Which, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, is really, it's a steal. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Also, I paid $5.95 for shipping, which was the express shipping, like, express. I think it got here in, like, three days. So, yeah. Like, I think I ordered this Thursday last week, and it is Wednesday right now. Um, so... Yeah, it got here super, super, super fast, you guys. Also, if you're curious as to know what my reaction was when I got this package, I'll insert a clip right here. <laughs> Mother of God! Yes! Yeah. I was really excited about this package, you guys. This wig is for my Asuna cosplay. I do have plans to... Um, obviously style it so that it looks like her hair, and you will be seeing that I will be uploading kind of prep work videos because I am going to an anime convention. This summer I am going to Kitsune in Green Bay if you guys are in the area and you're going to Kitsune. Uh, look me up. Let me know. Hit me up on the Instagram. I will totally tell you what days I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be cosplaying every single day as a different character, so if you guys are curious about that, I can also do a little vlog type get ready with me kind of thing. But yeah, I'm just really excited about this. You guys, it's going to be my first actual convention that I go to, so I really wanted everything to be perfect. Hence the wig. Pros and cons to this wig. Pro to this wig, it is gorgeous. It's actually not as thick as I thought it was going to be, which is kind of a good thing because if you guys wear wigs, you know that they get really hot and it, the longer they are, the hotter they get. So that's kind of nice. Um, another pro to this wig is this is the classic fibers versus the silky fibers that um, Art of Wigs has on their, you know, page of their shop. Um, the silky fibers are supposed to mimic human hair more, but they tangle more easily. They are easier to brush out, but they do require a little bit more maintenance, and they're not really wigs for constant use, I guess is the best way I can say it. Um, whereas the classic fibers um, can kind of, they're a little bit harsher, they're a little bit more coarse, um, so it's not as soft as people hair, but it is by no means at all, you know, does it feel fake. Like, this piece that I straightened right here um, feels like it could seriously be human hair, like I'm so impressed. I went with the classic fibers to just be able to handle all the wear and tear, plus all the movement and stuff like that. I need a wig that's not going to tangle as easily, 
which comes to one of the downsides. The downsides is that <clears throat> when it does get tangly, it does take more time to brush out versus the silky fibers would. Silky fibers, it'll just kind of fall out a lot easier. With these ones, it's going to take a little bit more effort, but in all honesty, it's only like a couple of seconds more. So it's really, really not that bad. The other thing that I really, really like about this wig is the fact that it did come curly, but I can straighten it. This piece I straightened with, this is my straightener, my nice Hello Kitty straightener, and I have it set to 285 degrees, and I think with like two pass-throughs, it's straightened to be this straight, which from this, like this spirally curly thing, it's straightened that much, which is just kind of amazing. These fibers are heat resistant, which is great because that's exactly what I need. You can um, obviously straighten this wig in different methods. There is like the um, hot water method, which you can do if that's like your thing. I personally just prefer to straighten it because I feel like I have more control that way. Um, but if you do straighten it, I really don't recommend going over 300 degrees because then you could risk burning your wig and that would not be good at all. <sighs> Pro slash con, um, the ends of this wig are a little harsh. They are not as... I don't really know how to describe it. Like, if I straighten over it, it's not as bad. But they definitely feel like they might have previously been heat treated. They feel a little bit, um, I don't, I, I honestly don't know the word to describe it, you guys. Um, they, they just don't feel as soft as the rest of the hair, so if you are going to put heat on it, once again I reiterate, please don't use anything higher than maybe 300 degrees, because if you fry your hair, you're going to be able to tell by looking at it, by feeling it, this wig is to replace another wig that I have that I heat styled so much that it just like fell apart. Um, so please take good care of your wigs. Obviously I paid $40, technically $45.95, for this wig so I want to take care of it and make sure that it lasts a long time. The other thing I really like about this wig is this wig is specifically for cosplay, you guys. These wigs from Arda Wigs are for cosplay, so you can alter them in any way, shape, or form that you so please, and they come with so many different styles, and I have never in my life seen such a wide arrangement of colors that you can choose from for every single wig on there. It's just mind-blowing. So I think that about covers everything for this wig. Um, I just really need to start styling this thing because it is just killing me to look at it this way. Like I just need to do it now. So I'm going to cut the video right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Also leave a comment down below if you have ever bought anything from Art of Wigs or if this review made you want to buy anything because I would love to know. Um, also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. Obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this, more wig reviews, more cosplay videos, more talking videos, pretty much anything. Um, also leave a comment down below if there's any other kind of video that you want me to do. So yeah, that is it. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful night and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!